All right, let me put that cap on real fast. This is good. So Kim and I are driving along talking, and she stops my conversation. She just stops me mid-sentence. And what'd you say again? I think you have a tumor. <laughs> Tell her. That's Arnold Schwarzenegger. What's the matter? Oh, I have a headache. It might be a tumor. It's not a tumor. A tumor. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Tell what you told me. I said, let Kim me says, beat that muscle in. Thank you, Kim. That's not a tumor. <laughs> Kim says, I never noticed your arms had muscles like that. I'm like, well, what do you mean you've never seen my arms with muscles? And she's like, it, that muscle. Uh, she's never seen that particular muscle. It's a weird muscle. No, it's not. It's a muscle. It's just a muscle. Where's it at? It's right above your elbow. No, people don't do that. Stop. I do. Because <laughs> you can't do your pecs. Nope. <laughs> we may not make it home. This girl may not make it back home. Maybe the last video y'all see do her your in. Pecs? I can try. Hold on. I'm gonna try. They won't move, kid. Your my arms will dance. I can dance my arms. I can see that you're trying so hard to make your. I don't know why my chest won't dance like. Oh God! Now you're gonna try. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, I can do one boom. Oh no, you're not. Show me. I can't see anything moving. Okay, wait. I don't, this is a family channel, Kimberly. <laughs> okay, stop. Sister Kim, my ass. <laughs> I have to go to Longhorn Lester's. And I have to do it now. Not many folks would want to get out to weather like this. But to me, it's important to see what's going on over there while it rains. It's gonna get wet. Y'all hold on a second. I got a waterproof case on my phone, so I'm not worried about that too much. I'm gonna go by and pick up Sister Kim. She's gonna go with me. I need her expertise on some ideas. Woo! Yeah! That! That makes you feel alive, man. That right there makes you feel alive. So, um, you all know that we're having an erosion issue over at the other property. And I have not been there during a rain. I know we're gonna get a couple of inches of rain today, and I wanna go over there. This is the first time it's actually rained during the daylight hours. So I'm going to go over and watch the rain. What can be more fun than that? I'm gonna go over and watch the rain and kinda of get an idea of what Mother Nature, the, the natural landscape, you know, does. And uh, kinda of get an idea of the flow of the water and see how much water is actually flowing so I can kind of plan out what pipes I might need, some kind of a French drain possibly, and try to find a way to control that erosion because it's a mess. I am gonna pick up Sister Kim. She's gonna ride with me. And I'm happy to have Kim. You know, if you don't already know this about my sister Kim, she is a, she's just a natural at, tri at problem, troubleshooting things, figuring out what's what. And uh, if y'all watch a second, you'll be able to watch her run out in the rain. That's going to be funny. I'll try to video that. I hope she didn't slip and fall. I love her. And I hope she didn't slip and fall, but it would be funny to catch on video. All right, here she comes. Oh, Kim, don't slip and fall. But if you do, the whole world's going to see. <laughs> oh, she's going to be all casual. I should lock the door. <laughs> what? Sorry. Oh my God! What is wrong with you? I'm your brother. That's what's wrong with me. All right. So Kim and I are sitting here at the, Kim. Say hi real fast. I'll, the last. Hey guys. The video I got of you was me purposely locking the door so you couldn't get in. I thought you were not even in here because <laughs> you, you wouldn't open the door. Kim has dried off. We've dried off. We got ourselves some some drinks because we both had headaches or no caffeine. Yep. So Kim and I are working on planning the entrance. Can you want to get out? Or is it too wet? No. I got a raincoat on. Uh, 
So here's our dilemma. I told Kim that we cannot block the swing gates on either side. We have to leave the swing gates open for service drives, for equipment and whatnot. I'm concerned, I don't want to put too much to block the column, and Kim was telling me what? I said take two wagon wheels that are in the same stained dark wood. So this dark walnut stained and the, wagon and, wheels. Yeah, and they lean against your, somehow mounted or something, but to your stone. That way that doesn't block getting to your keypad or anything on that side. Okay, so but a wagon wheel is round, so it's going to extend out into the driveway. You don't have to have gigantic ones. They make small wagon wheels. Yeah. So they'll have to be up off the ground then. Okay. Okay. And then what in just no plants here then? Maybe something small like the agave that st stays rather. Like an agave. We ha okay. Uh, and do that, match that on both sides to so make it look. Sides. Okay. And then take those tall things like you have. Those Mexican palms. And put them at the back side of your columns on this other panel. So that they don't get in the way of the gate. Yeah. All right, and how about around the bottom? Some kind of stone on the bottom, yeah. or is that too much stone? No, you can do that same white stone, or you could do a, a, a the white would look pretty. Just sort of like a, just a, a light around it, you know. At the bottom. At the bottom. Um, around that, too. Like, like you're landscaping around this plant. It's starting to rain harder. We're going to go up and look at the erosion control now. So Kim has given me her ideas on landscaping, and now we're off to look at some erosion. I tell y'all, Sister Kim knows her stuff, y'all. She knows her stuff. How did you get that way? How did you get to where you know how to fix so much stuff and and where none of us other kids can do stuff like this? Daniel's the, the muscle behind a lot of the things that y'all do. Yeah. Uh, um, I'm just kind of the, the gopher if y'all need my help. I just kind of grab this and grab that. But how did you get to where you know so much? I, honestly, I guess it's because basics were from dad okay. doing things with dad the first thing we ever built was the little house in the middle of the field that had to get torn down that, so you're not gonna say from that channel you used to watch because kim likes to watch I that do channel watch those channels and get lots of ideas <laughs> <laughs> well i hope that they just talked a little bit about erosion because i'm about to show you some shit up here i want you to notice all of my big babies who've all come up to the barn to eat come on guys i'm going to give y'all some feed right now Oh, I love y'all so much. It's a nice rainy day. We need the rain. And all the babies have come to eat. Uh, they're like, Dad, pour it out. We're hungry. Pour it out, Dad. We're hungry. Y'all give me a couple of seconds here, please. I'm not bragging. I am not bragging. But I want to show you guys what's going on here on day number two of using the stalls. We have everybody in the right order. Tex, Santana. My secret, it's real simple. They all have the exact same kind of containers, food containers, but I put more food. I double the amount of food for Tex. I put a little bit less than that for Santana. I put even less for Pearl. And then I put just a dab for Gracie, which is all that she needs. He's getting plenty, okay? They're getting plenty, but they're not as dumb as people sometimes think. I also put some cubes on the ground, which is a part of the roughage part of the stomach. So once they're done eating their grains, they can also come back later and nibble on a little bit of the cubes if they choose to. They don't really eat cubes this time of year because they get all of that from the grass. But I did, I know it's a nasty day. They might would prefer to just hang out in the stalls for a while and get what they need for nutrition uh, without having to be out in the grass to do it. That's why I put out the cubes. Uh, listen to me though. They're not dumb as far as that goes. They know that Tex gets the most. These guys are smart enough to know that daddy gets the most. He needs the most. They also know that mama is the top female cow. So mama gets the next amount as far as quantity of hay or feed and then, and then so on. So I am so proud of them that they have learned that. I'm very, very pleased that they're not scared. They trust me enough to come inside the stalls to eat. It will help us so much when it comes time to deworm for fly control, fly and pest control. If for some reason the vet needs to look at one of them, having them contained to a 10 by 10 stall with a big heavy duty gate eventually will be so much easier on everybody than having them running free in the pasture trying to have a look-see. 
I'm proud of you, buddy. Daddy loves you so much. He is still a little bit hesitant about putting his <laughs> back two legs in. Let's look at Pearl's bag real fast. I know we saw it yesterday, but I just can't get enough of seeing. Uh, I can't really get a good spot here. I got one teat, one juicy teat. That's all we got from here, guys. Let me go a little bit lower. Boy, don't I look weird. If you could see me now. If my mom could see me now. Hey, y'all wanna see me now? Yeah, this is what I do. This is what I do. me I do look I got back up not bad for a 50 year old huh all right all right so sister Kim who had come over here to help be my drainage problem solving my erosion problem solver guys I want you to notice something it is barely sprinkling it is barely sprinkling Yet, look how much water is running off of that hill. So, I, uh, Kim says we should go with a French drain system. A French draining system. Where we go ahead and use the natural landscape. Where all, whereas, where all the water kind of comes to a head over here. Where all the water from the hill sort of comes to these ravines over here. We have to find that exact same spot. Which would be right here look this is it this is where it all comes to a head right here and at this point we implement a french drain and that would make it to where all of this water would go into the french drain we'd have to come by and run that french drain down right to the pond which would be semi undergroundish we cover all this back up with sand and plant new grass and so all this water will come down to right here going to the french drain and hopefully we can kind of reclaim all of this. That's Kim's idea. Where are you at? I thought you were my erosion expert. Don't let your troubles fester. Come watch Longhorn Lester. <laughs> yeah, something like that.